Hello and welcome to this week's Power BI tutorial. My name is Roland and this is Bilingual Analytics. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks about tooltips. To be more specific, we are going to create a great looking custom tooltip in Power BI. By the end of this guide, you will know what a tooltip is, how to add additional fields to a default tooltip, and most importantly, how to create impactful visual tooltips to reduce the need of creating tons of other visuals in your report. If you like this video, don't be shy to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps others to find this video online and learn more about custom tooltips. Let's start from the basics. What is a tooltip? A tooltip is a way to provide more information about the data points within a visual. By default, all or almost all Power BI visuals will add an auto-generated tooltip to our chart, something like this. In most cases, these tooltips only show some of the fields from that model, namely the ones that are added to the visual. Hold on, let's hop over to Power BI and see this in action. Here we are in Power BI Desktop and I have my standard bilingual analytics report open. I'm going to focus on the sales report page and the sales growth by month visual. The one on the top left. If I hover my mouse over the black columns, Power BI will show me the visuals default tooltip. A bit more info than just the visual representation of the data. It helps me to identify the month, as it is December, and shows the exact month to date sales. If I hover over a yellow column, December is still there, but the value has changed to last year's month to date figures. Similarly, if I move my mouse a bit down over the red dot, I can see the growth rate. All of this is auto generated, I did not have to do anything. But let's say I would like to show my users last year year-to-date and year-to-date sales figures with year-to-date growth percentages when they hover over the visual. I can head over to the Fields pane, find these measures and start adding them to the tooltips part of the visual. And now if I hover over the columns, I can see my other three measures in the tooltip. Quick side note here, while this is true for both columns, the growth percentage or the line value keeps the same details. In a combo visual like this, only the columns are going to get expanded with the additional info. The next question or request that our users might ask is to always show last year month to date sales and month to date sales with the growth percentage whenever they hover over either one of these columns. Using the same technique, we can add these three measures to the tooltip section for the visual. Now, if we move over the visual, all of these measures will be there. But hold on, why do we have months to date sales listed twice? Or if we hover over the yellow column, we have last year month to date sales duplicated. As I said earlier, by default Power BI adds an auto-generated tooltip with the label or axis value and column value in this case. Therefore, those selected values are going to be duplicated. Additionally, I think we can all agree that having a large, greyish box with lots of numbers is not too pleasing to look at. It works, don't get me wrong, but I reckon most report consumers won't be too keen to utilize this. So the next question is, how can we make something nicer, or at least friendlier for our users that has the potential to enrich the whole report consumption experience? This is where custom-made tooltips come handy. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. We need to start by adding a new report page. Move it close to the sales report page as they are in a sense connected. I'm going to call the page Monthly Sales TT, short for tooltip, just to make sure that it is easy to identify the page. We can turn this page into a tooltip page, meaning that on other report pages, visuals can reference this page as a tooltip. To achieve that, I need to adjust a couple of things in the formatting panel. Under the page information, enable tooltip and under page size, let's go with tooltip, just for the time being. Ok, it's super small, but under view, page view, we can adjust it to fit to page, making our lives easier. And here comes the fun part. We have a blank canvas, quite literally, to use as a tooltip. Instead of spending lots of time creating this page while you wait, let's scan back from 3 and let magic take care of it. 3, 2, 1. 
Ta-da! It's just like any other report page. We have some visuals, headers and stuff like that. But the best part is we can add this page as a tooltip to other visuals. So let's head back to the sales report page. I'm going to select the top left visual. And under the formatting options, expand the tooltip menu. Change from default to report page and select our monthly sales TT report page. These tooltips are going to be auto filtered down to the relevant data as Power BI is smart enough to apply the same filters to the tooltip page as it is being applied to the visuals. With that small but very significant adjustment, we just created a tooltip that is more insightful, much more flexible than a default tooltip and helps our users to answer business questions quicker. I said that this custom made tooltip is much more flexible than the default one. Why? Because we can adjust the size of the pop-up tooltip. It doesn't have to be 320 by 240 pixels. You can create whatever size and shape would suit that visual and tooltip compute the best. The only thing that I would suggest about the sizing is to make it as small as possible. Keep in mind, this should be just an additional layer, some further info on the data points, not a full-blown report page. Sometimes I fall victim to that and create way too big tooltips. So if you are unsure, just try to stick to the default tooltip sizing. Additionally, if you spend time creating a custom tooltip page, be sure that it contains relevant information. Do not create a tooltip just for the sake of having one. It's already challenging enough to find the right visuals to use, the right data to present to your report users, so when you add an extra element like this, you cannot lose consistency or coherency. In other words, tooltips are created to add a bit more details to a visual or to a data point, not to introduce a completely different topic to analyze. As always, finding the right amount of information on a tooltip is going to be a balancing act. If you are not sure about something, just ask your users. Ask what additional small bits would help them to make a decision. And with that said, I want to check with you if you are using custom-made tooltips or not. Would it be something that you try out after watching this tutorial? Let me know all of that with any questions that you have in the comment section below. I try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's video and you will be able to implement this for your report. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave or before you watch one from the above videos. Until the next one, see ya!